I'm going to explain how Centaurus carbon dioxide room sensor works. This is the input terminal block. It's used for power supply and Mopus RQ communication A and B signals. This is the output terminal block. It's used for output connections. The sensor features three outputs, one for temperature, one for relative humidity, and one for carbon dioxide. Each output is 0 to 10 volts. This means that if the temperature range is set from 0 to 50 degrees centigrade and the measured temperature in the room is 25 degrees, the output will be 5 volts. However, when the temperature range is set from 25 to 30 degrees and the measured temperature in the room is 25 degrees, the output will be 0 volts. And if the temperature goes up to 30 degrees, the output will be about 10 volts. Excessive cable length increases the total resistance of the cable. This can cause that the maximum output value never reaches 10 volts. The same is valid for relative humidity and carbon dioxide outputs. The sensor generates an output value depending on the measured parameters. So, if the measured temperature, relative humidity and carbon dioxide in the room are in the low range, the output value will also be low. Likewise, if the values are in the high range, the output value will be high. All Sintero sensors feature Modbus RTU communication. This protocol facilitates settings and monitoring via computer. There are two types of Modbus registers. Input registers, which are read-only and used for monitoring purposes. And holding registers, they are both read and write and used for parameter settings. What is more, you can easily rely on the product default settings and use them without the need of any further adjustments. For example, a sensor type can be set to 0 to 10 volts, which is the default value, 0 to 20 milliamps, or 0 to 100% PWM. For personalized Modbus RTU settings, you have unlimited access to Centaurus user-friendly software.